Toronto. The city has been my home ever since I arrived in first year, but today I'm heading home to Vancouver. Now usually I'd just be home for the holidays, see my fam, see my friends, but this time I'm not returning back to Toronto, at least not for a while. After Vancouver, I'll be heading on an exchange program abroad, and where exactly will be a surprise. And not only that, what makes this trip so special is that it's most of my friends graduating here. By the time I'm back, a lot of friends will be gone on trips as fully working adults. And that's what makes this final day in Toronto that much more meaningful. It's my last exam of the year. It's my flight back home. But most importantly, it's a goodbye to a city that just won't be the same when I'm back. Take me to wherever Sunny days or cold nights Don't matter the weather It could be better when paradise Feels so right without you Alright, it's just about time for my finals. I honestly didn't get as much sleep as I would have liked to last night, but I think it's the nerve of finals that's keeping me up right now. Like, I don't feel sleepy at all. I actually feel a ton of energy, so hoping I could ride this wave. So we're just gonna head to the finals, do it, and then rest of the day should be fairly stress-free. Good morning. Usually like, okay, no, I never have breakfast when it's this early. Thankfully, my friend Amy is a very productive student. She wakes up really early, has a healthy schedule. So I got her to help me just make some breakfast. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so Every day I'm smiling way more I'm so happy you're not here And we are done our final exam that was actually my last and my only exam. So done with the entire school year, which is kind of crazy to think about. The test itself actually wasn't too bad. Like all the practice exams and practice questions that they gave us were a lot harder than the actual exam, which I feel like teachers tend to do quite a bit. I think I was able to go into this exam a lot more chill as well because I calculated my averages, realized I only need to get around like a 55% to end with a 4.0 in this class. I'm pretty confident I hit that threshold. Like, so after I'm gonna go get Amy and then we're just gonna go to lunch. Just forget about everything, celebrate being done. You know what's actually so funny though? Like the exam center at U of T, it's a building specifically for students to take exams in. It's a location on Google Maps. So because of that, people can attach Google reviews. And if you guys just search up the actual location and just read through the reviews, there's some funny stuff over here. Highly recommend you guys check it out. Leave your own review. We're done. What, what? Won't be here to fuck with my mood. No bullshit to argue. I don't hold a thing against you. I'm so grateful. Every day I'm smiling way more. Quick pit stop before I head home. I actually have some acne medicine or acne prescription that I got refilled. I'm gonna try to pick that up because I won't be able to get it after I leave Canada. So I wanna make sure like I have everything that's working for me. So I just wanna make sure I have all of it before I go. What are you laughing at, huh? The fact that I messed up 10 times, is that funny to you? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop it real quick. What if I wake up happy? And what if I wake up sad? Sorry if I said something, something that made you mad. So not a lot of people know this, but there's actually a pharmacy on campus. I'm here inside the Leslie Dan Pharmacy building, and they have this Discovery Pharmacy that's on the third floor. And that saved me so much trouble, 
because instead of having to chase the nearest pharmacy, I can literally just go to pick up stuff, pick up meds, sometime after school, sometime after class. It's actually a blessing. If you guys don't know about it, now you know. Honestly, if you guys have seen my past videos, you'll notice that my acne, like my skin, isn't the best. Um, I've had a lot of acne since the start of university, probably just stress. But a few months ago, I decided to go to the clinic on campus and just get that checked out, see what they recommended for me. <laughs> I don't know the exacts of it, but it's working really well. So before I head off back home, before I head off for exchange, like these are all things that I knew I wanted to get a refill on just so I had enough for when I'm abroad. That's enough talking. I need to get home now so we don't run too far behind on schedule. Yeah, I'll see you guys back home. Finished the exam, finished lunch and everything. And look, Nathan got some croissants. It's this place that I've been wanting to try for so long. Called um, Hazu Keto. Yeah, Hazu Keto. Not sponsor though. <laughs> you can sponsor us if you want. I don't know. Um, okay, these are croissants. I... Do you want to explain the croissants? I will explain. Uh, so this one is a caramel almond custard croissant and this one is a chocolate hazelnut croissant. Nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes or how it is. This is a mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Welcome. You got older cause you're good at life. Alright, so I already packed and moved most of my stuff. I just have a few last like housekeeping stuff. Just have to move what's left in my room. The day is still pretty early. We should be able to fit all of that. I just need to start like right now. After I clean up and everything, my friend Jenny, she's gonna come over and we're gonna move all of my stuff together. Shortly after that, gonna be on my way to my flight. Let's get it done. The DJ is crying for help. The DJ is crying for help. Don't know what to do with my stuff. back from moving just finished packing up my luggage and I guess this is it I'm gonna be heading to the airport soon and it's gonna be my last time in this apartment it is actually really sad because my apartment it was a great area great complex my roommate was awesome as well so yeah definitely tough to leave behind but we do have to move on to the next chapter of our life <sighs> time to say goodbye to the place you think I'm pretty without any makeup on You think I'm funny when I tell the punch I'm wrong I know you get me, so I let my walls come down Yeah, come down Before you met me, yeah, I was alright But things were kinda heavy You brought me to life now Every February, yeah, you'll be my valentine so let's go the way tonight Well there it is, the end of such an exhausting day and we're finally at the airport now. I'm actually a bit worried because a lot of my friends have been traveling from Toronto to Vancouver and recently there's been this whole issue with flights heading into Vancouver. Like everyone's flight is getting really delayed, like four or five hours or they're just getting canceled entirely. I have friends whose flights were yesterday, friends who, whose flights were even tomorrow and they've all been canceled. Um, for some reason, mine is still standing. That wraps up the vlog. If for some reason my flight does get canceled, there's gonna be a really sad after credit to this video. So I'm gonna go grab some food, I'm gonna go home and just get a nice, nice holiday rest. Hope you guys do too and I'll see you guys later. Ciao. Like the end of my video, but yeah.
We made it. Yay! 